Welcome back. Our next guest is a world champion sleight of hand magician whose off Broadway magic show Six Impossible Things is getting the most incredible reviews. We're so thrilled. He is here with us tonight. Please welcome Joshua J. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I realize what every great magician has that I need. T-shirt for sale after the show. <laughs> I brought with me some old T-shirts. I thought it would be fun to create a shirt with a magic trick. So these are all vintage. They're all original from my collection. This one from 1976. This is Doug Henning. Now, the important thing is, look what he's doing. Do you see this with his hands? He's going like this. I don't know why, but when magicians go like this, Audiences go crazy. <laughs> it's one of those things. 1982, it's a different magician, David Copperfield, electricity, but still doing the pose. <laughs> 1993, Lance Burton, different magician, same pose. <laughs> and finally, if you go to Las Vegas, you can get this T-shirt at the Chris Angel show of him doing the pose. This is probably the ugliest shirt I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> but I realize when I look at this shirt, when I look at all these shirts, we don't buy shirts at shows because we like the shirt. It doesn't matter if it's a rock concert or a magic show. We get the shirt because we want a thing to remember and experience. So let's create an experience right now with my shirt. And uh, who's got a dollar bill? We use anybody's dollar bill and take your phone out for me if you could. You got a dollar bill? I'll borrow this from you. What's your name? Acacia. Acacia. Acacia, I'm going to give you a receipt for the purchase that you just made. Okay. I'm going to actually have you hold on to the piece, okay. and I am going to have Acacia hold on to the bill for later. Hold out your hand. Take that. And now we need to create a moment totally unique to us. So who's come from far away? Uh, where do you come from for the show tonight? Los Angeles. <laughs> Thanks for making the arduous journey to be with us tonight. <laughs> All right, what's your zip code in L.A.? Nine one four two three. On the calculator, put in nine one four two three, and now hit times. And now, James, how many drinks have you had in the last week? Alcoholic drinks. Yes. <laughs> it's a very personal question, George. Yes. <laughs> and we need it to be precise for this to work. I have had. He's taking this very seriously. <laughs> You're in a judge-free zone. I may have had a pint of wine. No, uh, I actually, uh, I've the, oh, I had one glass of wine on Monday night. So that's all I've had is one glass one of wine. One glass this week. Yes, that's it. Yeah, is that the wrong answer for you? Do you need me to go? If I go back another week, it is a <laughs> show. Let's go, back two, <laughs> let's go back two weeks. Oh, well, then we're really in the big money. OK, uh, yeah, I maybe had, a, like, a good... I definitely had eight drinks. Eight drinks, wow. OK, so we had a conservative week, we had a party week. Put in eight. And now hit times. And that number's already 731,000 and change. And now, we need one more thing. You have the passcode on your phone. You don't have to say it out loud. I won't ask you for it, but enter it into the calculator right now. James is <laughs> kind of creepy how he's looking at your passcode, but that's fine. And you're going to hit equals, and that'll be a very big number. In fact, that's a number so big, I'm going to have you read it out to me in a moment. But you're going to have to read it slowly, because we're going to make a T-shirt out of this number. I'm going to copy these numbers down, upside down and backwards. Go ahead and read them off to us. Four, two. Four, two. One, zero. One, zero. One, zero, zero. One, zero, zero. Five, two, four. Five, two, four. One, zero, one. One, uh, what did you say? Zero, one. Zero, and one more one. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our T-shirt. <laughs> Thought you'd be way more impressed. I don't know. I mean, it's, no, it's OK. It's unique. You could say this shirt is completely unique in the entire world of T-shirts. In fact, it's as unique as, um, well, as a dollar bill. Every dollar bill has a serial number printed on it. It's what makes it unique in all the world. Would you please read that serial number, number for number, out loud for us? 
four, two, two, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, yes, zero, yes, five, yes, two, four, one, zero, one. That's your moment. <laughs> Hold up that piece. Let's see. Yes, and that piece really is a perfect fit. That's the one from your wallet. I would say that trick is worth at least a dollar tip. <laughs> no, 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 it's, I'm kidding. But see, that's not your moment. I told you that these t-shirts are about moments. These numbers were generated by you, your passcode. If it was different, it would be a different number. Different zip code, different number. If you'd have just laid off the booze two weeks ago, James. <laughs> Well, yeah, now you sound like my wife, but yeah. <laughs> this number's totally unique and upside down. This Shut up. number makes the words James Corden. <laughs> something with that piece. I'll take the piece. Okay. Take her dollar bill out, and I want you to hold this up. Well, I'll take it out. Oh, shut up now. How did you Wait do? a second. Take the tape off of the sh... Wait a second. There's no pocket in the... Because you see, even though you gave me this bill two minutes ago, it's a perfect fit, but yet now it's inside the t-shirt, completely generated and inside, and the only way that I can end this now, of course, is... <laughs> We'll be right back, everybody.